everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing it is a little loud because we are in we're in the truck on a ferry on our way to Port Bolivar we're gonna fish our North Jetty this morning Eric was out there yesterday he did okay caught a few flounders so you know what we're gonna go in and check it out ourselves bring you guys along thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and hopefully you catch us look it up I'm just getting here this morning first guys out here on the jetties always nice to be the first that'd be awesome how sticky is it right here are the rocks I don't know a lot of rocks out here I really don't know that, honest. we can keep walking no right we can keep walking oh man I got him Yep. How do I tie? Oh, he got off. I don't know. Feel like a feel like a red. Um, how do I tighten this drag down? Uh, turn the turn the stall forward. Forward. See, I didn't have my drag. I had no drag on it, so he just pulled it straight out. All I was doing was swimming it. Feel like a red. Could, it could have been a good spec though. Oh man, that's terrible, man. That was like the first fish, and that one felt good. I'm glad you didn't we, land. We, why are you hating for? Nah, the only reason I say that, most people that land that first, they're going to catch another one. There you go. Now you might be on with something. He said, I'm yeah. glad you didn't land them. That guy's dude, evil, huh? Shit, that guy's evil. Dude, every time I didn't land my first fish, I ain't catch another one. Well, I would rather have missed this guy than missed that one. You got him? A little dinky, huh? Mm -hmm. Got him? Little bitty dinky dinky. No. That curl tail? There you go. Little guy. They're in the throat. I know, that's what I heard. There we go. That's a good one. Nope. Little guy. That's how I was taught. Get him off here. There he goes. Oh, sorry, buddy. But a lot of times when you see these schools running through, just casting them, whether something's hitting on them or not. Casting them, fish the schools. Like you did see a fish, you did see a blow up because a lot of times those predator fish aren't far behind, they're chasing them, they might be hitting them underneath the surface, and the fish that are on top don't even notice yet. So it's always good to fish those schools and cast at those schools of bait as they're swimming by. He said he would throw it back. Uh oh. Ooh, nice one. <clears throat> nice one. He came up and got it too. Nice back. Really working for flounder. You got a string in your truck? Nope. Really working for flounder, and he's probably about 16, maybe close to it. Yeah, he was right between these two rocks. I was just pulling it out of the water, and he came up from underneath the rocks to hit it. A lot of times they'll wait and ambush bait. We see a lot of bait, a lot of good sized springer mullet swimming by. So they'll come out of the rocks, shoot up, and pounce on that bait when they get a chance. So bamboozled him, tricked him with that. Bite and fight angler, haymaker. So you see this bait moving right here. 
swimming through the area and then I don't know where out of the depths comes a predator fish to pounce on them. really good there we go little chipper there you go Boy, that's a big chip oh my god you got a big chip man oh i was gonna throw you in there anyway i didn't want him to fall between the rocks yeah. nice little chip chips ahoy that's the biggest that's the that's the that's the biggest chip in the bowl right there yeah. <laughs> all right so we came out here this morning at the jetties north jetties we came across the ferry there was a lot of activity a lot of bait in the water and then we started casting i had a good uh good fish on early on and then after that it was kind of smaller fish might have caught it we might have caught i don't know maybe three or four slots between us just barely slot fish uh, specks and flounders, but today just a lot of small undersized stuff. I know we're gonna ride back across the ferry We're gonna take a look at the seawall. We had very good reports coming in from the seawall But so stay tuned and hopefully when we get over there. It just won't be me saying Thanks for subscribing, but we're gonna run back across and see if we can get to the seawall See what it looks like and see if we want to cast a line or two All right. That's that's Eric <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you saw, when we got out there, there wasn't too much going on. We got out there late afternoon and fished for a handful of hours. The water it was flat, very clear, very green. Some of the clearer water had moved out by the time that we got there. Now, the water will come in and go out as the tide and as the wind push it in and out. Now, reports came in around sunrise. They were really tearing up the specs. So I got reports from Freeport all the way to Galveston, a lot of specks being caught out there in the surf by waders, also on the rock groins. A friend of mine, Cody Dunn, was throwing spoons. He didn't get quite get out there at sunrise. I think he got out there around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. He caught around 15 Spanish mackerel, a few very nice, around two pounds or so, and a handful of specks, and a handful of blue runner and small jacks. He also saw some pretty cool stuff. There was big schools of shad moving in and he saw a lot of jacks hitting that top surface as well as some spinner sharks chasing bait and going airborne. Now, like I said, he was throwing mostly spoons, but I've had reports from people soaking croaker to throwing live shrimp to fishing with other soft plastics and seemed like everybody was really on them at sunrise. Now reports from today, from this morning, Again, a couple friends of the channel, Eric and Cody Dunn, they were out there fishing. They were throwing spoons, and the reports that they got when they got out there around 7.30, 8 o'clock was that, that the bite was on again at sunrise. People limiting out, having a lot of success with the flat, clear water, catching those, catching those speckled trout. They got into... A few specks, I think Cody's best spec that he had was around 19 inches and he also got a nice Spanish mackerel. Eric got a nice Spanish mackerel too. They were throwing one ounce to a quarter ounce spoons and they actually took a ride and went to go look for cleaner water and started heading down to Surfside and they said the further they got down 
to Freeport to Surfside, the dirtier the water actually got. I just spoke to them, got off the phone with them, and they were hitting back into Galveston, and they're saying, and they were saying that the water is a lot greener. It's not really that blue clear, but it's a lot greener, and the water is flat. This morning, around late morning, they did have some strong winds that did come through and did push around, that did push a lot of settlement around the rock groins. So we end up getting a little browner around the rock groins and the clearer water, the cleaner water, pushed further out, past than you could, further than what you can cast. So I hope this fishing report helps you. If you're out there this weekend, keep an eye on that flat surf. Keep an eye on that clearer water, that cleaner water. Hopefully it comes in for all of us and we're able to get out there and you're able to get out there and land some of those fish in that beachfront. You know, this time of year, it is always fun. It's show it's a lot of action at sunrise when you're getting those nice, big, healthy surf trout. So I hope you're able to get out there. And I hope the Spanish mackerel come back in because they're always a great fight. And from my understanding, they're great tasting fish. So that being said, Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully next time you'll catch me. Hook it up.